The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Power Trading Hour with your host, David White. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, David White. And welcome all to another excellent edition of the Power Trading Hour. Doesn't matter where you're at as long as you're here at this time. The following takes place between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. And what do we have? Uh, S&P's up uh, seven points. Dow's up 88. Nasdaq's up 40. Uh, Russell's up uh, three tenths of a percent, up almost eight points. Uh, and of course, uh, yeah, crude oil eh, up 32 cents. Not much going on. Uh, gold up another 11 bucks. Uh, good day. 1827. Almost 1829. Uh, 1828, excuse me. Uh, silver up 40 cents. Uh, Ten-year bond um, up three cents. Uh, 148. Uh, and of course, a lot happening uh, since Friday. Um, I was, uh, I didn't think anything was going to happen with the bill over the weekend. Uh, you know, I didn't think about pass or no pass. I should have uh, got to the third option, which is uh, we'll shrink it by 60 percent or 40 percent or whatever they did and get it through. Uh, bond market uh, and the bond vigilantes uh, not causing a hissy fit. Uh, the TLT has been sitting uh, fairly well all morning. Uh, started off about 148 at the open, uh, 149.16 for the TLT, so above the danger zone uh, for additional issues with the economy. Uh, we've had the Fed out uh, bloviating today. I think we'll have another Fed guy talking at about 2.30. But I think all those uh, mute what's happening uh, uh, in the big time, and that is some big, big moves uh, in some of these uh, uh, semi-stocks, uh, not all of them. Uh, but certainly uh, some of them. And uh, let's go ahead and take a look at a couple of those right off the bat. Um, I watched the AMD presentation this morning. No one was really looking for anything other than uh, a, uh, a lot of the same. Uh, but I have to say, uh, they blew it out of the park this morning uh, going after the uh, uh, the. Uh, cloud uh, infrastructure, web services uh, business with their uh, server processors, which have been less than 5% of the market for such a long time. Uh, but uh, the new Epic processors they're putting out are starting to find some acceptance. Um, I think it was Metamucil. Um otherwise known as Facebook. Um, oh, Meta Platforms. Is that what they're calling themselves these days? Well, I'll continue to call them Metal Musil. Uh, said that they were going to be using them for some stuff. I don't know if that's faint praise coming from them. But uh, a big move, of course, in AMD. And, uh, you know, we've had three kind of rollouts this morning. Uh, and one more tonight in that uh, sector. Uh, Microsoft rolled off some new software this morning. I didn't look at it. I don't think it, that's a big move for them. Yeah, it's a little bit. Uh, but uh, certainly the one tonight to watch, uh, or it maybe even overnight, is NVIDIA. Uh, they, you know, I, I didn't expect it from AMD. I don't think anybody did. A lot of people are uh, thinking that uh, NVIDIA certainly has something uh, they're going to roll out tonight, uh, especially on the GPU front. Uh, but we'll see. But uh, maybe it's all been front run a little bit. But I think it comes out at 4 in the morning our time. Uh, but uh, And then there's a replay later um, on it. So I doubt if I'll be up at 4 a.m. tomorrow 
watching it, or maybe it's tonight sometimes. Certainly not during trading hours, but keep an eye on that. But, uh, you know, occasionally you can have some big stuff. As we said last week, one of the problems uh, with people uh, that continue shorting stocks that are going up uh, is that they're going to get throttled, as they did with AMD today. Uh, to, to, let's see. Um, now, just to give you an idea how bad people ate it today on AMD, I want to go back through and just look at the last week of shorting. And this is the FINRA numbers. So you get them on a daily basis. You don't know how many people covered before the end of the day. Uh, but certainly it was in an uptrend. Uh, but uh, you go back to the 27th, uh, one-third of uh, every day uh, of every share uh, was someone shorting it. 35% the day after that, 29% of the day after that, 36%, 39%, 38%. Uh, what do we have on uh, Thursday? Uh, let's call it 32%. 30% on 35% on Friday. Uh, it just never seems to go well when everybody has the same idea. Uh, generally, I look for something else in the market uh, when that happens. But uh, you know what? It was one of those days uh, where uh, good news met the shorts and the shorts uh, lost. I don't think there's anything more you can say about it other than that. We've got a lot of other stuff going on. I want to go ahead and uh, talk a little bit about the history, uh, and we'll get that out of the way, and then we'll get to a lot of the stuff going on in the sit rep, uh, which I haven't talked about, uh, but should be interesting, especially in these uh, larger big cap uh, social media companies and others as it goes on. And uh, eh, history rhymes, doesn't really repeat. That it's all just a little bit of history repeating. Well, it's rhyming, but well, we're close enough. I like the song. Okay, so uh, what do we have uh, for histoire today? Uh, well, it is on this day in 2007, Google introduces the Android platform. It's mobile operating system for cell phones uh, based on a modified version of the Linux operating system. The first Android-based phone would ship in September of 2008. By 2010, uh, they were outselling about two to one over Apple, mostly based on price. Uh, but uh, you know, it wasn't too long before Samsung in 2012 really started to come along and start making uh, at least phones uh, technically that were a little bit better. By 2016. Uh, I was going to say that at least the hardware was on a pair uh, par to Apple. And right now, depending on who you talk to, uh, you can probably say the software is probably 95% as good as the uh, Apple iOS stuff uh, without all the uh, imperial entanglements of dealing with Apple's uh, walled garden. And, uh, wow, what a uh, speech last week uh, from Apple's guy telling everybody how the world would end. Uh, it would be uh, dogs and cats living together in sin, real wrath of God stuff. If anybody could load a program uh, from anywhere other than the uh, iOS Apple Store. Um, we'll be back in a minute. We'll get to some of the other big things going on. Are you grinding in the market, but seeing little to no return? Or are you a successful trader, simply looking to make your job a little easier? Learn to take the path of least resistance with David White's powerful trading newsletter. David White is an accomplished trader whose deep understanding of technology and the markets allows him to consistently find and share winning trades. Support and resistance define the ranges in which stocks trade. By understanding these trading ranges, David White is able to find the path of least resistance. David White's trading newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, is delivered daily before the markets open to make every trading day an easy win. Visit TFNN.com today and subscribe to David White's Ultimate Trading Newsletter for $119 a month. And try all of our newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Take the path of least resistance at TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Turn. We'll talk about the situation. Some things you probably ought to be thinking about. Probably not a lot going to happen in the next couple of minutes. But uh, we'll, we'll talk about it in a little bit of I told you thusly. Uh, Kobashar and Cotton, two senators sitting in a tree. K-S-S-I-N-G. No, they aren't. But uh, they have introduced a bill. It's got wide acceptance. What does this bill do? It really curtails the limit of big tech and others to uh, acquire anybody else. So probably pulling the plug since both of these people are on opposite side of the spectrums, uh, certainly opposite sides of the aisle. Uh, not uncommon to see that and then it go nowhere, but uh, at least a couple articles I read over the weekend saying that uh, this has uh, about 70 senators in the bag already. So, uh, hey, the big idea of these guys buying other folks out, uh, if you're buying stocks that you think are going to get bought out by Facebook, Microsoft, uh, Netflix, um, and others, Twitter, yeah, that may be a very short road going ahead. Certainly, they've run into a lot of problems already in Europe, uh, but legislatively would be very problematic. Um, you might be able to fight through uh, a, a particular uh, regime uh, in the White House, depending on which side you're at. But uh, eh, you get sued, go to court, some judge is going to decide it much tougher when it becomes legislative a legislative issue uh, that hits the courts instead of just an executive order somewhere. Uh, as we said earlier, big uh, moves in AMD uh, and others, even Intel's up 61 cents today. Um, although they come out on the short stick of the AMD uh, announcements today. In fact, even, to, even NVIDIA it got a little bit of uh, starting to see a little bit of uh, of uh, competition from AMD on the uh, computer learning side, uh, but again, tonight they've got their GDC or GTC conference thing going on. 
So we'll find out over the night what's happening. But uh, you know what? They really haven't announced a lot. I can think of about five things uh, that they should be coming out. One is another new video card or series of video cards with PCI five on them making them significantly faster a new generation of memory making them again significantly faster and some other things again making them significantly faster and the question is whether or not they choose to show those tonight i think we're probably going to get a hint of it uh again it will be more video cards that we can't get our hands on but things are slowly painfully getting a little bit better in the video card business uh, and uh, getting those, those products to consumers uh, with both uh, NVIDIA and AMD video cards. I'm more in the NVIDIA camp, mostly because uh, the uh, AMD really doesn't have a lot for uh, home programmers. Uh, they've gone after directly after Facebook and Microsoft and those folks making uh, machine learning uh, GPU and also TPU type uh products but uh not much for somebody like me to use so i tend to uh if i had to buy a video card and even spend a little more money uh for it uh, for a similar hardware i'd probably still go with nvidia just because they make the software available uh ib or not ibm ibb kind of dropped a bit on thursday uh wednesday uh you had some issues in the court where is that? There it is right there. Um, and it dropped on uh, on Friday uh, after the uh, the discussions in front of a three judge panel uh, about uh, forced vaccinations. And uh, thanks for the people that emailed. I brought up uh, maybe a week or 10 days ago the fact that OSHA mandating uh, vaccination has uh, since 1970 lost 17 times in a row without any one win. Uh, and actually in just uh, maybe six or seven years ago, uh, lost again um, on bird flu. Uh, they've found over and over OSHA does not have the ability uh, or the legislative legal uh, ability to force vaccinations. And of course, um, there were some other things going on that same day. But uh, yeah, over the weekend, we got the, uh, the word that uh, there probably is a, a incredibly tough road for any forced vaccinations for companies above 100 employees, uh, as it was put out on Thursday or Wednesday last week. So, uh, you know, the big in, uh, vaccine industrial complex, as I uh, call it now, who would love to have all this stuff. Uh, mandated because, of course, they're going to make some money on the deal. Uh, but uh, I said, uh, like I said, uh, 10 days ago, probably not going to happen. Uh, it is lost so many times in a row that there would have to be something very different to see that happen. And uh, yeah, everybody heard the uh, judges asking questions on Thursday, uh, bombed on Friday, and probably not much more to think about today. 877-927-6648. Email me at path at tfnn.com. And, of course, you can always put a message in the den. Uh, to, 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 okay, what else do we have here? I know we have some questions already. Uh, what do you think about the IBM spinoff? Um, IBM's trying to get mean and lean to go into the quantum uh, computer divi division and focus on that. Um it's not a bad time to start raising cash for IBM. Uh, they're going to need it as they go forward. Um, IBM is one of the few companies uh, that has uh, turned the ship around three different times in its over 120-year history. I think, actually, it's more than that. I think they go back to 1890. Uh, but uh, they've bet the farm on quantum computing. Uh, as they move along, they'll continue to sell stuff off. Kind of interesting that... Uh, that, uh, you know, what are they, Kindrel, KD, I guess it's going to be interesting. Uh, I haven't really looked at it that hard. Uh, the big thing for uh, IBM is 
uh, them prevailing in quantum computing. Every uh, big uh, learning institution, every big government, every totalitarian society is wanting to get their hands on this stuff for a variety of reasons. Uh, some of it good, some of it not so good. But uh, you know what? It's probably going to be a, a 30-year ride for IBM, and uh, they're very good at going after um, colleges, uh, bu uh, business, high-end business, Fortune 500 business, and uh, governments. So I think it's okay. It just depends on whether they uh, back the right course in quantum computing. We'll be back in a Having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. And as we come back, uh, Tesla in the news with a big dip lower. Uh, Elon Musk did two interesting things. He wants a... Uh, uh, insulted a bozo senator uh, with something rude, but uh, eh, I'm pretty much uh, copacetic with that. Uh, but the other thing he did was run a survey on his Twitter feed on whether or not uh, he should sell 10% of his shares, and of course it came in that way. I have no idea whether that was a 
valid uh, thing or if he hired a bunch of, of uh, people in Asia to click through and make sure that they all voted for him to sell t- uh, up to 10 percent of his shares. But probably not a bad thing to do. Uh, we'll also make uh, Tesla somewhat more liquid um, than it is, uh, but certainly a, a big gap down. And what I look for uh, in a nice signal, which is a break below, a hard break like this below uh, the three by three, uh, some playing around, get back up uh, above it for a few days. uh, And then the next close below it is the one where generally, uh, if you've had a big run like this, you give a huge amount of it back. I am not playing this, nor did I uh, intend to, uh, but... uh, if I get the signal, I will not hesitate to pull the trigger on Tesla. I've made a bunch of money over the years by shorting it, but not by shorting it when there wasn't a good signal. Um, anyway, uh, a couple things. That was part of the other thing. Um, John in the Den brings up that they're going to start trying to deliver trucks to Pepsi. Uh, very interesting. I'm going to see exactly what they are building for Pepsi. Uh, Last I heard uh, that half the truck's weight uh, was batteries. And I'm wondering if that changes at all. Now, if you're just going local, maybe not a big deal. Uh, Over the road truckers have looked at the Tesla truck and found out uh, that anything with a a decent 800 mile range uh, would, uh, of the 80,000 pounds of the truck, uh, some 50 to 55,000 pounds of that uh, would be truck and batteries, uh, only leaving about 25,000 pounds for actual uh, freight. And maybe you're doing the right thing, like uh, shipping sealed air packages um, or other things like that. Maybe that'll work. But for the most part, uh, probably not a good long-term business plan. Uh, if you're going local, maybe Pepsi doing this. But their hand, uh, I checked during the break, hand uh, assembling five semi-trucks a week. I don't know if that's going to make a big difference over time. Uh, The interesting part, I thought, was that they're not spending any money to build a production facility. It's all going to be kind of the same thing they did occasionally, which is to set up a bunch of tents and start putting together stuff. And uh, I've worked on a couple of Teslas now. As I said, uh, during the summer, I was helping somebody rebuild a Franken-Tesla that's one that uh, they bought uh, flood damaged and one that caught fire and tried to make one good Tesla out of two. Very, uh, uh, I have to say, I give very high uh, marks to uh, uh, the uh, electric motors and that kind of stuff. Um, making sure everything fit, um, kind of low marks uh, for the ones that I've worked on. Uh, some things just go to nowhere. You see how how fast that they were uh, in a rush to build some stuff. Um, a big skid plate that had screws on one side, not on the other. And that was from the factory. So uh, if I did get one, I'd make sure and put it up on the rack and have a um, mechanic make sure all the screws were tightened and the gaps are right on the doors and all the other stuff because uh, they are in a hurry. Uh, I can't say that it's a wrong thing to do on a business uh, venture. Uh, because you're wanting to submit your incumbent uh, place so you can uh, fend off competitors. Uh, as a customer, yeah, that's why the Chinese are kind of mad at him. They didn't expect to get a uh, product with a lot of problems. And uh, people are willing to look by it. Same thing uh, that happened with Apple. Uh, many years, uh, the phones had problems. And everybody was uh, just willing to dismiss it because they thought they were part of something bigger instead of actually buying a product and uh, using it and being pleased with it. Uh, they think they're part of it. Um, eh, I'm not uh, one of those folks that thinks that uh, me buying stuff makes me special. But uh, you can almost do that. There is kind of a little bit of that. 877 uh, So on Tesla, wait for another close above the 3x3, which I think we'll probably get. Uh, somebody in the den this morning was asking whether they'd go after this. And I can't imagine uh, that until he's done dumping that 10%, I'd probably want to have anything to do with it going long. Um, 
the Rivians are coming out, the Ford F-150s. My guess is if, uh, and once those start coming out, again, they've got a bunch of problems with chip shortages now. So a little bit, uh, Tesla's a little doing a little bit better because uh, they already had stuff in the works. But uh, eventually that stuff will start hitting the market. And I think, especially the Ford F-150, uh, the Rivian, uh, uh, Rivian, a lot of great ideas in that. A great concept car. I don't know if it'll be a great company. Uh, but a lot of neat features in that uh, were well thought out. Don't think that uh, Tesla's uh, uh, Road Warrior Mad Max truck is going anywhere. I don't think more than a handful of people would want that eyesore. But uh, yeah, that's just me. Uh, okay, we got some more stuff going on here. Okay, AMT, Microsoft, uh, NFLX. Um, oh, we got it. Uh, something else I need to do. Uh, got a bunch of questions about my call on Friday uh, for us expiring uh, somewhere at uh, 4,700. Um, yeah, Netflix still going down. Uh, eh, I'll think about that for a minute and get back with you on it. Uh, I did want to get to uh, this. Uh, oh, two questions. I wanted to add, ask, uh, as I call it, the Metal Musil verse, but it's called the Metaverse. Everybody wonders what it is. No one really knows. Uh, it was actually came from a cyberpunk novel called Snow Crash back in 1992. Um, and uh, it's just where everybody wears re uh, reality goggles. No one works. It's all some kind of uh, dream, uh, buildings, park signs, uh, but uh, very interesting where you uh, have rules of three-dimensional space-time are ignored, free cons, uh, combat zones where people can go and hunt, kill each other. Uh, it was kind of uh, just uh, what we have today, which is a game playground, but uh, everybody was uh, hooked up to fiber optic. Oh, if only I was and not hooked up to, to uh, copper uh, internet, but uh, hey, you know what? People in Africa have real problems. I complain about having a 200 megabit per second internet connection, uh, and it's not fast enough. 877-927-6648. Email me at pathtfn.com. We'll be right back. and We'll get into uh, what uh, my next question is, is how did I make that call on 4700? And we'll look at... Uh, Look at the charts. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. 
Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. As we return, a uh, question about how to predict uh, stock price expiration. Uh, there's a lot to it. I've done some webinars on it. Maybe I'll do another one. But um, probably the key is looking at a lot of stocks. I kind of have a core uh, bunch of about 120 uh, that I run and have kind of a model. And you can have a few things if you're watching on Tiger TV or in the den. Uh, but uh, if you're talking about a normal dis distribution, a bell curve of it um, is this black line. And normally what you're going to have on, especially as you get closer to expiration, is something more that looks like this blue line, which uh, has it, it, it goes way above uh, in the center of normal distribution. And the, what normally what they call the shoulders are really cut. But then when you go to the far outsides, this is what you are uh, what people call are call fat tails. That is that there's a very high probability that nothing happens, and we get an expiration of uh, what was it 4,700 uh, on Friday? Yeah. Uh, in the S&P cash. But anyway, it was pointing right there, and you, you get something that's almost as good as X marks the spot with a nice pointy thing that comes right up there. Uh, you come down, and you have to go a very long ways before uh, the uh, curve starts balancing out. But they call this narrow shoulders uh, in the distribution, uh, and that's called kurtosis. But you'll get something very pointy like that, uh, normally on Fridays around 3, or excuse me, around 11 to 12 Eastern time. And you know that everybody's planning to sit on their hands until the, uh, the market closes out, and they're not going to let the market go uh, any higher. We actually kind of have this right now um, into this morning. I basically said that the risk-reward was flat. Uh, we're at highs. So could you get something? Yeah. But uh, – 85% of the time, you're probably going to get what we got today, which is some kind of flat S&P. But you know, I'm going to say 85% of the time, it's going to do that and stick here. What uh, most people don't talk about is these fat tails. And if you uh, read Fooled by Randomness or all the other, it's uh, when the, you get into these fat tails – uh, you get things like Lehman blowing up and uh, Evergrande in China and all these other things. Uh, there's a uh, very large chance that nothing happens and a very small chance that something very large happens. And that's what happens. So you get into it. You really got to find something that would move the market. And generally, if you don't know what that is going in, you're probably not going to see it. Uh, as I said, Friday when the TLT was up two bucks, I don't think the market was looking for any, I didn't think anything was going to happen, but certainly a, a vastly reduced um, 
spending bill was something that they could live with. And uh, we continue to see that in the TLT today, 149.19. But uh, you get something nice and pointy like that uh, when you aggregate all the important uh, puts and calls on the big leaders in the market. And you know you're going nowhere or not very far. But I think I said when the, I think we were at 47.15 or something on Friday, and I said uh, 4,700, eh, 4697 and change, I think, is good enough for government work. Um, you can also have just one other thing, and that is skewness. And this is what you have a lot of times in expensive stocks uh, uh, by price, like uh, Tesla or uh, Amazon. Uh, and that is you get just one side of the bell curve. And, you know, sometimes it's on the high side, but almost always it's on the low side. And those are people that are long uh, for a very long time. They probably bought Amazon at 500 bucks, and all they're doing is buying a downside protection that's probably fairly extensive in some stock. Or the opposite, this blue line for the skewness, they're betting that the thing's not going any higher. And for a variety of reasons, maybe they've had... Uh, three years, or maybe they just came off of earnings and they said, we're doing nothing, uh, life sucks, and we're going to be flat or down for the next, you know, two or three or four quarters or something. You get this thing where everybody's betting that it's not going uh, very much higher. Uh, and, of course, expensive stocks, you get a lot of people that uh, are hoping for a lot of protection on the downside. But, uh, eh, those are kind of the... The uh, when you actually map out all the data for uh, options, you kind of see that. Okay, what else do we have? We want to get into some other charts here. Uh, okay, Sandy says what? Sandy says uh, UNVY still looking fairly good. UVXY on the day. Uh, very interesting. It's just kind of beating around some lows out here. Uh, I guess the question is, do I think the market's going to give it up? Uh, we've got uh, Delta Neutral Day on Wednesday. Uh, and my thought is, if we're going to make some kind of high for expiration and actually have one out of the one in five uh, expirations that is lower than the, than the low of Wednesday into the 19th, so your odds are fairly poor, one in five. But generally, if you are on the right side of the one in five, you're going to make three times what uh, you would make normally on the uh, uh, positive side if the market holds up. So you have to make that calculation. Is it worth three times more to try to pull the trigger short? Um, you actually have something that could line up out here. I just don't see a lot of it right now. The Fed, why it's talking about tightening is just doing it. I think until they actually do it, the market's just going to believe that they're not going to do it, that they're just jawbone in the market. Uh, if we actually see them do anything, I think that's when the market's going to start waking up. Okay, what else do we have out here? Da, 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 da. Okay. Da, 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 da. Uh, what do options say on NVIDIA? Okay. Uh, good question. Da -da. NVIDIA. Okay. And today is not Saturday. It is Monday. Let's draw a little options curve out here. Uh Everybody's betting against this thing going higher is what it says. Um, this is when we get into these high price stocks uh, and you've got to also know uh, what's going on in the uh, short side of it. Uh, NVDA. Uh, in NVIDIA is about as bad as AMD uh, for people short this thing. Uh, so and come back. 30, 35, 40%. Everybody has the same idea as you. I would run. We'll be back in a moment.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors are you looking for secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis the tiger first mortgage program may be the program for you the best rate on a five-year cd in the country right now according to bankrate.com is paying one percent per year or one thousand dollars per one hundred thousand dollars invested the tiger first mortgage program pays seven percent per year paid monthly on secured high value buildable properties in st petersburg florida the investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First mortgage? The Tiger First mortgage program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First mortgage program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN, also a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. And as we get ready to wrap up another excellent power trading hour, uh, Tom O'Brien taking us home. Um, yeah, just uh, looking at options and everything during the break and uh, short interest on NVIDIA. But, uh, yeah, if you can stay up tonight, maybe you'll see uh, the NASDAQ move, depending on what's going on in there. I, I didn't think much uh, that it was going to come out of AMD, and it did. I thought more likely it would be uh, NVIDIA with some big announcements. Maybe they get some. But, uh, man, I don't think you want to be short NVIDIA with everybody else being short, as we said uh, before the break. Uh, anywhere from 20 to 33 percent short um, on a daily basis for the last week. Uh, either someone really knows something, which they probably don't, or everybody's piling on every day and just covering at the close much more the idea on that one uh anyway kings of the universe as i said i don't want to be shorting anybody that could sell four times what they can build right now it's not good that they can't build it but it's not like there isn't anybody on the other side dying to buy it like me so uh yeah what else can you say about it that's kind of it anyway as we uh end up the day um probably looking at some kind of back and fill uh, into Wednesday, which is uh, uh, starts options expiration delta neutral day. I think we're going to know a lot more about where the market's going to go there. But 
everybody's kind of tightening up. Uh, Eight billion shares on the CBOE right now. Oop, is that right? No, that is not right. Let's go back into it. Yeah, it is right. Um, yeah. So uh, 8 billion shares, 8.1 billion shares. So is it going to be a big day? No. Volume picking up for the fall? Yes. A little. Not huge. But uh, let's see. And uh, sideways markets uh, generally are good for gold. Got a nice pop there. And so the next day, probably going to be still good for gold. So, uh, sell when you can, not when you have to. We'll uh, see you tomorrow. Same, same bet, same bet, time.